So Andor is poised to give us a better look into the political workings of the Galactic Empire, and one of the key components of that that a lot of people seem to forget is the Imperial Senate. So I figure today we'll take a closer look at exactly what the Imperial Senate is, how it works, and what power it really had. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So before we begin, if you're watching Andor, I would like to throw out there that this one will not have any spoilers for the show, because as far as the show is, we've only seen a few snippets of life on Coruscant. I'm sure we'll see more of the Senate in coming episodes, but as of yet, we haven't seen much of it. So, no spoilers here. So, many of you may be wondering, the Galactic Empire is this despotic government. They're run by a dictator. The Emperor himself basically makes all the decisions, right? So, why even have a Senate? What do they do? Well, the Imperial Senate is actually a very big piece of Emperor Palpatine's plan to keep the galaxy under his control, and I'll get into that. But first, we have to look at how all of this started. As many of us know, the Galactic Empire rose from the ashes of the Galactic Republic following the Clone Wars, and the transition between the Galactic Republic and the Galactic Empire was a jarring one in many elements of life, so there was a considerable effort to keep the jarring change a little bit less dramatic, especially on the political front. You see, if it became obvious to the people of the galaxy that the Republic was turning into this dictatorship, it would be much harder to gain the support of the people of the galaxy. So elements of the Republic, particularly the democratic elements of the Republic, had to remain in some sense to add an air of legitimacy to the imperial government and prevent all-out revolt. So. The primary purpose of the Senate in Palpatine's grand plan was simply to make the people feel like they were still involved in government, to make the populations of the galaxy feel like they still had a say in how things were run. And as a result, the Galactic Republic Senate basically just transitioned into the Imperial Senate, and at first there wasn't a huge difference. The Declaration of a New Order, the document that officially founded the Galactic Empire, basically only maintained the Emergency Powers Act that was pitched and passed before the outbreak of the Clone Wars. This allowed Palpatine to basically sit in his seat indefinitely, and allowed him basically complete control over the armed forces and a few other elements of the sort of government that was running the galaxy. However, as time went on, the Emperor grabbed more and more power, slowly taking that away from the Senate. A few years into the reign of the Galactic Empire, the Senate was little more than a rubber stamp on most occasions, and even at that, their numbers were starting to dwindle. It became a relatively common punishment for worlds that had disobeyed the Empire or attempted to revolt against Imperial rule to lose their Senate seat and their representation within the Imperial government, and as such, the number of Senators started to drop significantly. And we started to see situations where Senators, which would have normally been elected from the population of a planet, were replaced by people appointed by Imperial officials, and then we start to get into Imperial Governor territory, which comes a little bit later. But at the point that Andor is at, five years before the Battle of Yavin, the Senate is still around. They didn't disappear until right before the Battle of Yavin, when they were formally dissolved. But what exactly are they doing? Well, mostly minor things, infrastructure, uh, agriculture, some energy policies, stuff like that. Things that the Emperor is simply too busy to actually interact with and take control of. And so the Senate was left with the sort of scraps that the Emperor would throw them, but the Senate still represented a feasible challenge to the Emperor's power. There were clauses in the Imperial Constitution that allowed the Senate to overrule decisions made by the Empire if they had a vast majority. Things that would likely leave a lot of Senators uh, missing, um, but still it was a political possibility that they could overrule something that Palpatine had ordered, so removing the Senate was on his to-do list, he just needed to wait for the right time. And he deemed the right time to be when the Death Star was operational. With the super weapon being functional and under his command, he wagered that with that amount of power, systems would simply be too afraid to revolt against a government they felt like they had no say in, so he abolished the Senate, something that happened, like I said, basically right before the Battle of Yavin. But as many of us know, with the conclusion of the Battle of Yavin and the destruction of the Death Star, now without a Senate and without a super weapon, it became a lot harder to keep the people of the galaxy under his control. But still, there are a lot of questions about how the Imperial Senate works. Was it functioning like the Republic Senate, or was it 
totally different by this point in time. I'm excited to get to see that on screen in Andor, and I'm really hopeful that the show gives us a really substantial look at that side of the Galactic Empire. One thing that we do know has changed is the aesthetics of the Senate chambers, which have gone from their Republic colors to something more Imperial looking. And that's not the only change that Coruscant underwent in the transition from the Republic to the Empire. I actually recently did a video about the changes that Coruscant has experienced with the rise of the Empire, and I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. And I'd like you to let me know down in the comments what you think the Imperial Senate will be doing by this point in time. Do you think they'll still be voting actively on laws, or do you think they're really sort of pushed to this um, non-critical role of dealing with basically the scraps that the Emperor has left them? And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in Star Wars, leave it down below in the comments. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.